Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. It is Timara. How is everyone doing? And this Sunday's edition, I am doing far out. But anywho, hopefully everyone is staying safe. Wear a full flipping mask if it's recommend. Okay, if it's required. If not, then stay your butt home. Stay away per- from people the best you can. I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitch. My own Facebook page and other social media accounts. Those social media accounts will be down below. So like them, follow me, whatever you want to do to, with them. So the article will be down below or the link. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do like that, maybe you want to show like a villain and hear my lovely thoughts my excellent opinions on the subject and of course the article will be down below although the link will be down below let's roll this now this past april due to the virus that we had released a lot of workers a lot of w superstars some of them came back some of them did not came back you know the people who were not coming back it looked like carl anderson and Luke Gallons, okay? That was part of AJ Styles' group, okay? AJ Styles is very unhappy that WWE let him go. Now, um, I don't know if this is going to happen or not happen. It seems like Impact Wrestling is our favorite to sign Carl Anderson and Luke Gallons. Okay, according to a report from Pro Wrestling Sheet, okay, whatever company that they sign besides W, probably they they do a lot better in that in that wrestling company. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> the pair who were released by W several months ago having been promoted by announce about their future on July 18th, which considering the same night as Impact Wrestling and Slam Reversary pay-per-view, so they might make a debut there. I really wish they called it TNA, in, in TNA but those days are over. <clears throat> I still got the TNA DVDs from back in the day. Do you have any of those? I gotta watch some of those. Those was very classic. I don't know if you remember back in the day when they used to call it TNA, you could actually buy the TNA DVDs at Best Buy. I don't know if you could still buy those kind of DVDs at Best Buy. Maybe call it, maybe they, maybe Best Buy carries now Impact Wrestling DVDs. Maybe, maybe not. So let me know if you have any of those, you know. I gotta watch that. Like the Kurt Angle one, that was a very good one. And other ones. So let me know if you have any of those in your collection. I was just very, very curious. Yeah, I really think that WWE really dropped the ball with these tag team. WWE is very, very stupid. I'm sorry. Just because they did great things in, in Japan with AJ Styles. That does not really mean they're going to do great in WWE. It's how they get booked. And they don't book these guys very well. Very sad. McMahon does not give a flip, flipping crap about the tag teams. There's no such thing as tag team. Okay? There isn't. You got the flipping New Day. They've been around since, what, six years already? That's the only legit stable. And it's so sad. Well... Not tackling. Before they were just three average guys, and then we decided to make a group out of it. And bada bing, bada boom, the new day. Part of you gonna finish your career at the new day. Maybe, maybe not. So, what's your thoughts on this? Everyone, have a good one. Have a good one, my bad. Now, definitely, we'll be back tonight sometime. Peace out once again, like I always do.